Some parents might not worry when their children are getting on or off their school bus. But watch what happens when this suburban Chicago student gets off of his bus to head home from school. Just as he exits the bus, a car drives right through the school bus stop arm. You're supposed to be able to go to your bus stop and be safe. You're supposed to get on your bus and be safe. In 2018, three children died in Indiana and another was injured after they were hit by a pickup truck while boarding their school bus. The driver told investigators she didn't realize the school bus was stopped. Even though the stop arm was out, the lights were flashing. You know, school bus stop sign is a stop sign. It is a traffic control device. You have to stop. Um, just think these are children around school buses that are not necessarily looking for you to not stop. Ron Johnson is the Support Operations Director for Indian Prairie School District 204 in Aurora. Part of his job is to oversee bus transportation for students. We have about 27,000 students in the district. We're the fourth largest school district in the state of Illinois. We transport about 68 to 70 percent of our students, so about 16 to 17,000 of them. Johnson says it takes 260 school bus drivers and 1,100 routes a day to get their students to and from school. With that many students on the road, drivers who don't stop for school bus stop arms was already a big safety concern for him and his team. It's also one that was hard to tackle. Last year it was relying on the driver getting make, model, plate number, uh, and the time and date that it occurred. Uh, so last year we had 15, and that was the entire school year. If you think about it, we run 1,100 routes a day, so 15 out of all of those opportunities for a violation to be reported, um, we think we're gonna get a little bit more. So far, they are, thanks to this a fourth camera. This is our first year utilizing it and we're seeing a lot more stop arm violations being reported because it's a little bit easier for drivers. Remember that student we showed you earlier? This new camera that sits right next to the school bus stop arm recorded that violation. All buses transporting District 204 students have one this year. For drivers like James Kennedy, this makes his job just a little bit easier. Every day, every day. I personally, I've had it up to five to six uh, blown stop arms in, in one day. Now all James has to do to report a stop arm violation is this. This is James calling in on a stop arm violation. In 3740, I did press the button. James and his coworkers at First Student Transportation gave us a quick demonstration. When he pushes this button, James radios the bus services dispatcher that a stop arm violation has occurred. The camera system sends a video clip of the violation to the services road supervisors. Then the safety director sends it to the local police department. This is much more effective. While the school year has just started, road supervisor Jeannie Junkus says they've already sent quite a few recorded violations to local police. In one day you can have 15. Just over a month into the new school year and the district is reporting more than triple the amount of stop arm violations than last year. The Naperville Police Department is one of several local law enforcement agencies the school district and bus company sends these tapes to. We've heard that we're in a hurry to get to work or we've been distracted. Um, also, we've heard that people maybe didn't know all the laws around stop arm violation. Commander Rick Krakow is with the Naperville Police Department. He says once they receive a videotape from the school bus company, officers review it to see if a warning or a citation should be issued. A stop arm violation is very serious. Uh, the first offense, if convicted, it's a mandatory three month suspension of your driver's license and a $300 fine. A second conviction is a mandatory one year suspension and a $1,000 fine with community service possibilities. Krakow says so far they've seen about a 25% increase in reported stop arm violations compared to last year. We know it is much more than we actually have reported. Ron Wilkie is the school safety coordinator for District 204. You are seeing more accidents, you are seeing more violations, and a quick Google search will show you that other states are dealing with this as well. According to a recent survey by the National Association of State Directors of Pupil Transportation Services, 26 percent of school bus drivers nationwide reported over 66,000 vehicles illegally pass their buses on a single day during the 23-24 school year. If all school bus drivers participated in the survey, the association estimates 
there would have been 251,000 illegal passings in one day and more than 45 million stop arm violations for all of last school year. Should be pretty obvious, it's also in the rules of the road, so to get your driver's license, you have to know this information. It's also important to note that if police ask you who was driving your car when the stop arm violation occurred and you refuse to tell them, your vehicle registration could be suspended for three months. That's also part of Illinois' stop arm law. Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.